And in China, 10 lawyers are standing up for their right to act as legal counsel for their clients. They've submitted a petition protesting the action of the Huanggu District Court in Shenyang for interfering with their ability to defend six Falun Gong practitioners. The six Falun Gong practitioners were captured by police ahead of last year's Olympic Games. The Falun Gong practitioners' families hired 10 defence attorneys to represent their relatives in court. But before the trial began, the court called in the attorneys and tried to pressure the lawyers to not represent the practitioners. On the day of the trial, February 6th, the court forced the attorneys to be searched, which is not required by law. To protest the treatment they were receiving, the lawyers left the courthouse. The court then started the trial without them in violation of Chinese law. A trial that was planned to take up an entire day ended within two hours. The attorneys believed that the court was trying to pressure them so the court could have better control over the trial's outcome. In response, the attorneys have signed a petition protesting the court's move. The petition has been sent to the National People's Congress, the Legislative Court, the Supreme Court and other institutions. It asks the national and Beijing bar associations to come forward and safeguard the rights of lawyers to provide defence for their defendants. They want to pressure us, but we are determined not to compromise. Actually, this is an effective response to their illegal action. The six Falun Gong practitioners who were taken by the police are Wu Yifeng, Zheng Yi, Lin Huai Yu, Zhao Guoliang, Tsai Zhongbin and Liu Guifeng. All of them are normal, law-abiding residents of Shenyang. <laughs>